a person would be asking, what is the call? Yes, what is the call? And the call is an invitation to go to, to a marriage feast. Heaven is a marriage feast. My friend, heaven, hey, glory to God. The church is the bride. And Jesus Christ is the bridegroom. So Jesus Christ has made, hey, glory to God. He said, I must go away and prepare a place for you. He said, let not your heart be troubled. He believed in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it was not so, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll go prepare a place for you where I am he may be also. So the calling is... God has invited you to a marriage feast. And the marriage feast, hallelujah, is when we stand before God and God going to say, well done, or God going to say, you damn. So the calling is God has given us an invitation of salvation. What? God has given you an invitation of salvation. And a lot of people have rejected it. And glory to God, if you, if you have escaped an accident, Hallelujah, you came on to without a scratch. Your car was total. The tow truck of taking your car, but an ambulance decided not to take you to the hospital. My friend, that was the calling in your life. You went to the doctor and you've been a whore. You've been sleeping with every Dick, Tom, and Harry, and you escaped the disease. That was a call in your life. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah, you had cancer and you prayed and God moved the cancer. That was a calling over your life. And a lot of people take the calling lightly. How do you take the calling lightly? By you not accepting the calling. When Jesus, my friend, have, have told them to go to God to come to the marriage feast, they all had an excuse. An excuse was lame. The excuse was without warrant. The excuse was, glory to God, how can you, you purchase a land and want to go and see it? <laughs> how can you bought an oxen and you want to go prove them? That means that those excuses were lame. So a calling is, if God has called you, if you are a person that been shot five times, ten times, and you came out, you came out still alive, my friend. Hey, glory to God, the bullet, the bullet didn't touch your heart. That was a calling over your life. So a calling is when God has set apart you to use you. Hey, glory to God. God, 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 God has called Moses. Moses, glory, saw a bush that was burning. And God said, take off your shoe. Moses, take off your shoe because the ground you're standing is holy ground. Oh, glory to God. So I'm telling somebody, my friend, God have a mission for your life. Hallelujah, the calling, and you, if you ignore the calling, God going to use somebody else. God not going to, God not going to force his calling upon your life. And the Bible says, those men that forbidden the invitation, God going to send it out to people that we least expect to be saved. So you might think that person going to church every Sunday, they have, they have accepted the calling. No, they haven't. Because if you accept the calling, my friend, I know, I know that we're not perfect. I know that we are still struggling, but glory to God, because the Bible says in his earthly vessel that the excellency be of God and not of us. We are cast down, but not forsaken. Hallelujah. So I'm saying to somebody, the calling of your life is when you recognize that you are a sinner, you need a savior. Hallelujah. You are bent. Hallelujah. And God can put you back together. Hallelujah. The calling over your life. God has called you, my friend. Hey, God, if you're listening to this, my friend, and you're wondering what is the calling over my life. Hallelujah. You might be sick, my friend. God can heal you. You might, hallelujah, you might have cancer all over your body. And the doctor has walked away from your gravesite. The doctor has walked away from your bedside. And hallelujah, you must recognize, my friend, on a God can heal you. And if God don't heal you, you still accept him as your Lord and say, you might have pain in your body, but I'm going to praise him. You may have pain in your body, but I'm going to say, Oh, Father, which art in heaven, my friend, the calling over your life might be weird to some people, but you must recognize and organize that God is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So I'm telling somebody, my friend, to recognize the call 
calling over your life, you must say, yes, Lord, use me to your glory. Yes, Lord, it's me, it's me to stand in the need of prayer. Oh, glory to God. And when you recognize the call in your life, my friend, then God, will, you give an invitation to God in your life. Say, Lord, come into my life and save me. Come in life and sanctify me. Come in life, glory to God, and set me apart for your, for your service. Hallelujah, glory to God. Somebody right now, oh, glory to God, you're wondering, is God calling you? God is calling you. If you are listening to this video, my friend, and you're wondering why things are happening the way it's happening, and I'm not destroyed, why things happen the way they're happening, and I'm not being damned, because God is calling you. What is the calling? The calling is, my friend, God, that go, God not going to, from heaven, say, hey, come here. No, God ain't going to do that. God going to say, how? How can you hear what I'm a preacher? I'm a preacher. How can he say that except God sent him? The Bible said, cry loud and speak not. Lift up thy voice and the trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. I'm telling somebody right now, my friend, God is calling you. What is the calling? Hallelujah. Things happen bad. Hallelujah. And and people think that you ought to be this way, but God will protect you. Oh, glory. Look at me, my friend. I've been robbed three times. Hey, glory to God. And I'm still here. Oh, oh glory to God. I've been in a, in, a, in a coma, and I'm still here. I fell off a, a tree in Jamaica. I'm still here. I, glory to God. I can say more and more, my friend. Hey, glory. But God is still here, and I'm still here, too. Because God has preserved my life. But I, tell, tell, I come and tell somebody, my friend, if you've been sick and a doctor gave you up, my friend, and you're still here here. God is preserving you. If you're a person that's been drinking all your life, my friend, and your liver is still good, God is calling you. If you're a person that's been smoking for a long time and you don't have lung cancer, God is calling you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to hear this, my friend. What is the calling? The calling is God ain't going to call you by your name. God ain't going to call you from the sky and say, hey, come here. No. Yeah, God call you by Hallelujah. By the preach word. The Bible says, I send forth my word and heal them. My word shall not come back void. So God is calling you. My friend, You, if you have disease all over your body and you're still here, God is calling you. Oh, glory to God. If Hallelujah. It's something I can tell you, my friend. Hallelujah. Look at the children of Israel. The children of Israel walked through dry land in the Red Sea. <laughs> glory to God. Shachrach, Misha, and Abednego was in the fire furnace. Daniel was in the lion's den. Hallelujah. Can I say more? Hallelujah. I'm telling you, my friend, the calling of God is without understanding, without comprehension. But if you are a Christian, my friend, the Bible says anything too hard for God. I could have been dead. My friend, I can tell you some story. I went to a party one day, my friend. Hey, glory to God. And they were shooting the place out. And I jumped out of the second floor. I jumped, hallelujah, down. I didn't break my leg. Oh, glory to God. Not mean that God. God been calling me, my friend. Hey, glory to God. I remember, hallelujah, I was fainting on in Safeway. I felt fainting in my home. And the doctor said, you have a time to die. You're going to die, boy. My mother, my father gave me up, my friend. But God, the Bible says, your mother and father sent you. The Lord will pick you up. So a calling is when God preserve your life. When God and protect your life. When God say, enough is enough, Satan. Get your hand off of him. And God protect you. Look at your Job. Job, hallelujah, was a man, a righteous man. But God say, look at, look at my servant. Touch is touch everything, but don't touch his life. And the Bible says, skin for skin, would a man give his skin? And the Bible say, Job say, naked came out forth from the womb, and naked shall return. The Lord give it, and the Lord take away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We know the story how God tests Job. Hallelujah. And now Satan, hey, glory to God, was a position against God's servant. But God told Satan, don't touch his life life and God preserve Job. What you saying preacher? I'm saying what is the calling in your life? The calling have you answered the call? Are you a church goer and you ain't sanctified? Are you a church goer you ain't separated? Are you a church goer you ain't filled with the Holy Ghost? Shouting is not signification of the Holy Ghost. The tongues is not the gift. Hear me now the tongue is not the gift. Of the Holy Ghost. Because a lot of, speak, a lot of people are speaking in tongue and they're not saved. You just uttering things that you don't even understand. The Bible say, my friend, the two or three, hallelujah, and be quiet. The Bible said, God is not an author of confusion. 
Hallelujah. Let the, let, the, let the prophet be subject unto her. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody need to hear. My friend, what is the calling? God is calling you and you're still not answering the call. Because you don't know what the call is. The call is salvation. The call is deliverance. The call is sanctification. The call is being sacred. The call is being different. That's the calling over your life. God called you to be different. God didn't call you to be the same. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God called you to be different. Hallelujah. He didn't call you to be damned. He called you to be delivered. Hallelujah. And all that you're going through, my friend, you must stop ignoring the call. The call is God to call you in a time like the Bible says, redeem in the day because the days are evil. So God is calling you. Are you going to answer his call? Hey, man, what is a call? The call is when God has told you it's time to be right. It's time to give me time over your life. God got a work for you to do. But the only way you're going to see the work, my friend, you got to acknowledge, you got to yield to the power of the mighty God. And he shall sustain thee. My friend, what is a call? When God has called you. In a time like this.